Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the start of something new. You see, guys, I've been a little stubborn with the type of content that I put out. I've always been trying to hold myself to this higher standard and make sure that everything is just good quality overall. And if not, I can't release it. I can't do anything simple and easy. But in all actuality, YouTube is a game of consistency. So, to relieve my mind goblins a little bit and take a lot of stress off of me, I'm gonna do what I enjoy and play some games that I like. And we're gonna start with a different take on my favorite Fire Emblem game of all time. Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn Randomizer. The randomizer done by Lord Mewtwo King version 2.0.1 came out recently and we are going to have some fun with it. I have already rolled the seed, all the uh, all the different ways that you can randomize the game. I'll probably put it on screen up right now, the things that I've done to it. I don't remember them all at the top of my head. The most important things probably to note are that enemy growth rates are up to 30%. All units can become any units. If you're a Bjork, you can become a Laguz. If you're a Laguz, you can become a Bjork, etc., etc. Growths have a I want to say 50% deviation, which means they should be pretty wild, pretty absolutely nuts. Could be zeros or even over a hundreds, so that'll be interesting. And yeah, we're pretty much just going to get into it. We're obviously going to be doing this. Wow, I'm like, I'm talking ahead of where the menu is even. So, let's delete this real quick. That was just a test file to make sure that the uh, the randomization was working properly. And we're going to start a new file on this clear... <laughs> I forget I have to do it like this. We're going to start it here on this clear data so that we can get access to all of the characters. Because getting all of the characters may be, may be essential to us beating the game. Even if it's only two characters, you never know. So we're going to take every opportunity we can get because this might be a little extra difficult. I don't know. I'm not really 100% sure on everything. I'm not going to pay attention to the story. A lot of it might crash the game, but I am going to pay attention to some of the models that we might take note of. Because <laughs> they can be very interesting because the models are in fact changed while in the, not the cutscenes, but like the, I guess the in-game cutscene before chapter begins. Prologue under gray skies. Skip over that. No, no one cares about that cutscene. There's nothing of relevance there. So we'll, we'll, we'll move on, move on, move on. We're in Vasa, Dane Capital, overrun by the Banyan Empire. We're here. We're we're we we're, we're chilling. We're the we're the nice people. There we are. That's us, the Dom Brigade. Woo. Okay. <laughs> okay. So Khalil has given up her home, has divorced Largo. And has come to live in Dayan and uh, help with the, uh, you know, help relieve the Dayan people. She feels bad for them, and honestly, I appreciate that. With her good friend Micaiah, that doesn't seem particularly right. Don't worry. <laughs> and they're both. Hor it looks like an axe paladin and a sword paladin. I can't tell. Also. Important to note, all the enemies have changed, uh, the weapons they can be carrying have changed, the bosses have changed, and sometimes they can be completely different people. I think this is the guy normally, I, but that might also change when we actually get into the map. Don't actually know. So we're just skip all that. Okay, they're setting up in position. These bandits, these Neanderthal bandits in their tight looking shiny armor terrorizing the civilians. And we've got to help. And we, we have a bird. Player one. And it's Leonardo. Micaiah's given leadership over to Leonardo. Everyone's favorite unit. But it makes sense. Leonardo leads. Leonardo leads. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Dawn Brigade. Teenage Mutant Dawn Brigade. And this old ass woman. Teenage power. Let's go, Leonardo leads the top again. 
Okay, hold on. You know, I'll keep animations on, just for the time being. Just to, just to... Uh, let's, let's see if something breaks, you know? I... That's the... <laughs> oh, you pretty good. Yes, I guess I have the long, beautiful hair. I know I'm pretty, but I'm... Uh, just, just, die. Please die, sir. Please die, you Neanderthal. I should have really checked everyone's stats before just going into combat, but I'm... <laughs> Uh-oh. I have a feeling... I have a bad feeling that shit's about to... <gasps> they don't attack when animations are on! Oh, uh, oh, okay. Never, never mind, sorry, sir. Okay, cursed, cursed animation. Never mind, animation's off forever. Okay, we have Leonardo the Axe Knight. 11 strength, 6 speed, 9 defense. Oh, oh boy. He's got corrosion. Oh boy. Okay. And I did a little something. I can, in fact, pull up their growth rates, their stats, this nice little HTML file that uh, Lord Mewtwo put together in his randomizer tells us exactly who they're going to be. They divide it by character. It tells you their transformation gave the itch if they're Lagoos. It shows what their personal bases add to the base class. It's an Axe Knight at level 1, so obviously can't be that strong. And possibly the most important thing is their growth rates. And I must say, Axe Knight with 4% strength growth. Gonna be a little rough. He, he seems moderately tanky with 70% defense and uh, not a lot of speed. His luck is high for whatever that's worth. That'll be interesting. It seems like this character will be exactly the same as regular Micaiah, as in useless. And we have Kalel. Leonardo's a blonde partner in crime, a sword knight. Not much better bases. If we pull up Edward, it'll show Kalel. Kalel has the provoke skill. And. <laughs> A 1% strength growth and a 94% magic growth. Interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Pretty, pretty fast. That's neat. No defense and a lot of res? Not okay. Uh, it's gonna be a rough start. It's gonna be a rough start, luckily. Honestly, if you, you can... You can more or less do this game without growths of the basic units, and the basic units kind of suck. So uh, we, we could probably make it until we get better, guys. Uh, everyone's carrying a bronze lance. Everyone's an armored lance unit instead of the regular brigands. They do 10 damage. This guy has a torch. 11, 11, 12. And this guy is an iron bow. And I accidentally blocked up the path without cantoing. So we just kind of have to wait. Luckily, they're so weak they don't do any damage. <laughs> Who in this situation do I possibly want to train? Oh, I should probably give it a, this screen. Who do I possibly want to train? <laughs> Which person with zero, with almost no chance of getting strength, would I rather be on the battlefield more? It's honestly a tough call. Nine defense, nine defense. I guess that one difference. Oh, yeah. There's also inclusions in this randomizer to make things a little smoother, like... Reintroducing the weapon triangle. And adding the ability to check enemy ranges, which is something I quite enjoy. Hey, our first corrosion proc. I'm sure that'll come in handy. But we're we're more or less just in it for the long haul. We are going to get to the end of the game in hopes that we can maybe pull out some way to beat it. I don't know actually how well we'll be able to do. But, I think the main goal should be fun. And I enjoy this game. <laughs> oh, Makai, I heard you- oh. <laughs> Leonardo, I heard you need a fucking tactician because you're an idiot. Leonardo? No, I'm Leon- <laughs> You can't be Leonardo, I'm Leonardo! How'd you find us, me? I, a, a little birdie told me. I, I don't know whose it is, Makai is not here. We have a tech. We have Soren. We have Soren. 
It's pretty, I mean, pretty tanky, all things considered. 12 defense, better than both of them. If we pull back up the visual, we can take a look. Leonardo's, in fact, soaring with wrath as his ability. A much better improvement over the last two. 69 HP, okay strength, pretty good speed, not bad defense and res. Like, he's... Okay, we got a unit, we got a unit. Okay, this is our unit. This is our go-to for now. In fact, I'm just gonna chill here and probably tag out uh, Leonardo for Soth, good old Soth. Uh, just so he can start killing people because it seems like he's going to be our main at damage dealer. So we're gonna put him right here. Uh, Khalil or Leonardo, I guess Leonardo. I forgot to take away the visual again. That's gonna happen a lot. I'm very dumb. I apologize. It is what it is. Yeah, that's gonna be first of many magic growths. I, I expect this. Maybe we could like, sneak, get a wind edge at some point. We have very tanky boys, but not a lot of fast boys. So it's going to be a, quite a trip kind of just chugging through everyone but we have a fairly good unit in Soren so I think we're gonna be okay although Wrath is gonna be weird because it's gonna be hard to get him that low now do they go into healing mode in the prologue I actually don't know they do not they will just suicide which is good because we don't have to deal with them any longer than we have to. Okay, so this guy, 17 damage. Not a lot, but it's not not a lot. It's five damage. A couple of hits and takes Sorn out. Luckily, I'm pretty sure we can abuse the movement range of the armored lances and just kind of dance around him with our horses. The goal is get the kill for Soren, but I don't think we can do that because you are very weak. Don't go after Leo. Don't go after Quill for sure. Damn it. Oh, I should have ran away further. Are they gonna. Yeah, they're both gonna. That's fine, that's fine. Because uh, 17 damage only does 7. Oh, wait, doubling. Doubling is a thing. That guy would totally double. He would do 7 twice. That would, total <laughs> that would hurt a lot. So let's just set up this... Oh, wait. Okay. Let's bait out the boss while we're waiting then. Have Soren kill this guy. Alright, Soren. You got good growths. Or at least acceptable ones. I like this. I like this a lot. Armor Knights to the rescue. How does it always come to this? These hard-working people. Oh, I this one. E. 10 damage. Corrosion. How much does that take away? It took away two uses. Does he have a funerary? He does. Will he use it? One, two, three, four, five. How many do they have at this rate? Eight. One. Oh my god, eight? Eight already? That seems a little high. You dumb brigade brats. I still can't believe Soren left the Grail Mercenaries to join the Dom Brigade. Crazy. Only half a level, nothing exceptional. Oh, yes, yeah, so. oh, good job, Leonardo, you really led this, they were no match for us. We gotta get the fuck out of here. You don't do that! Oh, it's just these kids. I, I'm, I don't want to stick around, because I, like, I want to skip over the story, I'm just waiting, I'm waiting to see someone, I'm very curious. Sorry, we gotta go! Stop right there! What? Who are you bellowing at, bellowing at, soldier? Oh! He! What? <laughs> Racing! 
I knew you fucking hated humans, but I didn't think you'd go this far. You're calling them maggots and- oh my god. Mason! Mason! How can Mason be an evil man? God! Oh, no! Mason! They're just your soldiers! You can't kill your own men! He fucking hates humans no matter what side they're on. <laughs> Precisely watching these stupid humans be poor is hilarious. Oh, I love it. Alright, that's the prologue, but I'm probably going to be doing chapters one as well. Because, I don't, I don't know, I'll go a little long. First episode, and then it'll probably be chapter by chapter. A chapter one, Maiden of Miracles. Okay, it's no fun here. There are no models, so it doesn't matter. So we're just gonna hop into the battle, and we have Tanith. She went from a Pegasus Knight to a bird, and she has absolutely busted stats. This is a common trend when you have Lagoos in this randomizer. In fact, there was a setting not to have Lagoos in part one, but I figured it'd be fun like this, especially depending on how our Lagoos gauge goes. Tanith gains seven, Lagoo's gauge every turn she's not transformed, and ev and five points every time she's in a battle when she's not transformed. Every turn while she is transformed, she'll lose six gauge, and every battle she loses 13. This is a common trend I see with the randomizer in Lagoo's as well, is that normally they're very strong at the beginning, but they don't do much because of their gauge is limiting. Also, she has white pool, which is something nice. We can give more speed to our guys who drastically need it. Huh. Bronze knives, slim swords. Very weak, but these guys are going to be problematic because they have high speed and they're going to steal our healing items, which is very annoying. Let's put away the graphic. And a javelin. Also, I've randomized every item you can get in any of these houses, which is nice. Okay, so I think the game plan here is to take everything off of people battling who are slower than the thieves and then send them out. So I'm going to send out Soren, he's nothing to steal but the thing he's holding. And I'm going to put Tanith right here and she's going to go to town for as long as she's not transformed. She only got four experience for that, holy smoly. I'm actually still gonna let Soren battle it a great bit, even though I probably should make sure that we schmoove. Uh, the boss is another archer. And he's, I think that's the same guy. I don't think he's important enough to be lumped in with the important bosses in the randomizer. They all have knives, which is one to range, I just realized. And they went most of my gauge. So, I'm going to put Tanith here to kill this guy. Oh my god, they all, oh my, no, they all have one too. This sucks, dude, oh no. I'm going to get Leonardo out there. Uh, hold this, you can get that to Soren probably? Corrosion in effect yet again. Let's get that javelin over. Because we need to start, oh god, oh, low accuracy, we're going, oh no, I don't know if we can make this by turn 10, I might just have to put her in front of the, uh, Tanith in front of the boss and just take him out. Will that thief get the house? No, they're not programmed to, okay. Hopefully this will help, oh god, that's not fast enough gauge, oh boy, please hit her, yeah, yeah, damn it. <sighs> you get this longbow, which is kind of cool. Luckily, Kanto's really going to help us out. Unless we miss, then it doesn't help anything. 
and you chill there till you can transform, then you're pretty much just gonna take out the boss next turn. Clank, clank, clank. All right, perfect. The rest of our goons can clean up everything as we take out the boss and probably put her in front of this guy because he can't move. So we'll shift. We'll just kill the boss, not a big deal. I don't think experience is irrelevant in this mode. I have no idea what it would be good or bad. And I'll wait here so this guy doesn't just attack and lower the gauge even more. Can you kill? What the f- Col We're gonna be at this for a while. Though I need to make sure that Leonardo gets over there to leave. <laughs> Those are stats. Bonk. Dun dun. So good. Ow! Alright, so thieves are a good and bad class to randomize into, and we're out of gauge. Uh, hit me from one range, bub. Alright, we're, we're gonna put Soren right here. Uh, we should probably attack with Kalil first, though? Please don't crit. What is what? What? All right, you need to die, sir. I don't even care. I don't even. I don't care. You need to go now. You're a menace to society. Holy schmoly. <laughs> yeah, go after the bird again because you can't hit. Now this should. Oh, it doesn't double. We are not having a good go of it. <laughs> she, you've, you've missed like eight times. You've missed four times in a row, dude. Oh my lord. Whatever, we're making, we're still making good use of everything. Soren gets another level, hopefully gets a little more attack. Here we go. If we, if we stumble upon a flame land, Soren might be good. Oh, I'm scared. Take this useless skill. I put Khalil in range. I'm a fucking goon. Please don't die. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, I'm cut. I'm cutting in about here. I, I positioned a little bit better and made people from. <laughs> I positioned better. I say. Holy shit, dude, if that hit me, I, I would have lost it. I, my, I forgot Leonardo has all the stuff. I thought it... Oh my... Okay. Wow. Wow, that was the worst time to cut back, because I, I just... I I showed everyone my ignorance. I don't get that back, do I? Okay, we don't get that herb anymore. Let's just kill him and move on. Also, Soren got a pretty good level up. He didn't get speed, but, it, you know, it's fine. Okay. Mm. We'll give a kill to both. And we'll shift and get rid of this guy. Should be able to bonk boss next turn pretty easily and a lot smoother.
And whoever wants this kill can get it. I, in fact, could probably feed this guy with Soren. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give boss kill to Soren. Step aside. Punk. And then Khalil goes in and misses. Okay, thank you. Ugh, no! I was in my prime! And nice experience for Soren. Cool. Let's just get rid of this person, I don't feel like dealing with them. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Leonardo is pretty much just going to be chipping so we can get Soren nice and strong to carry us. This is next chapter, next couple chapters are gonna be a little rough and we only have a bird and armor knight of any note worth. Very good, Soren. And we'll escape. And we're out of here. Oh, I guess I should try on bonus experience, cause why not? I think that's turn count, it might be six. I don't exactly remember. Everybody, this way. <laughs> oh, I'm the strongest member of the Dom Brigade, don't mind me. Uh, holy shit, it's... I don't even remember this guy's name, but he's uh, he's the he's the high priest of Benyon, and he's an R. Okay, okay, okay. So I play tested the ROM a little bit. I well not play tested. I've played with the ROM a little bit. I've used it a couple of times uh, casually. I've started an Iron Man on my streaming channel. <gasps> Soft four out of four times now has been an Armor Knight. Three times has been Brom. I can't believe it. Holy shit, dude. <sighs> All the onions. You're our only hope. Catch them. Oh, shoot the kids, shoot the kids. Get them, they're just fucking kids. They're just kids, get them, they deserve it. Come on, come on, Soph, you gotta keep up. <laughs> what was that? No, we have to go. All right. No, I should have seen when it was like for the horse to heal a child. Oh no, darn. <sighs> Whatever, it was still funny. All right, that's the end of part one of Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn Randomizer. If you enjoyed what you saw, let me know, like it, more is to come. There will be more playthroughs released this week in a schedule. Maybe not tomorrow, but I think two days from now, just uh, pay, pay attention, cause there might be other stuff on the way. And if you don't like that, if you don't like uh, the order everything's in, let me know that too, okay? Okay, have a nice day.